In Second Life, everyone has their own character called an avatar. This is me, and I can express through my avatar any aspect of myself I'd like to try out. Hmm, I think I'll stick to black for now. Each avatar you meet in Second Life is a real person, sitting at their computer in different parts of the world, and yet we are all here together. You can walk around, and like all the best worlds, you can fly. You can travel through virtual worlds built by different people. But of course the biggest advantage of Second Life is that you can do all this travelling around carbon guilt free. Now we are arriving at One Climate Island. So welcome to One Climate Island. We are visualising a low carbon lifestyle here and it's so much easier to build one in Second Life than in real life. Let me show you around. Over here is an exhibition area which we made with DEFRA, the UK's Ministry for the Environment, to promote what individuals can do to reduce their carbon footprints. Let's catch a little film first. This one features David Miliband, who was then Secretary of State for the Environment. What's he got to say? Hi. We all know green issues have gone up the political agenda. We also know that as well as government taking a lead, business doing the technological innovation that's so important, in the battle against climate change. Individuals want to make a contribution too. That's what this point Hmm. Well, I'd better find out what I can do in my own home. Here's the house of horrors. I hope my house isn't a carbon house of horrors. I'll find out in here, I suppose. Did you know that working at a lower temperature and cutting out the pre-wash can reduce the carbon footprint of your washing machine by 80%? I had no idea domestic appliances were so opinionated. Did you know that replacing your old fridge freezer with one that's AAA rated could reduce your carbon footprint by more than a quarter of a tonne a year? Phew, I'm glad to get out of there. But doesn't a lot of my carbon get spent on energy? Well, over here there's a simulation of a modern wind turbine that can be used to train individuals or groups from anywhere in the world. And they can come here without spending their carbon on air travel. The experts tell me that it's a realistic simulation of a full-scale bonus 1300 turbine. I can control every aspect of it, including the weather. I can turn off the wind or turn it on to 5 meters per second when I can see what the output of electricity of this turbine is, 91 kilowatts. But when I double the wind speed, you can see the electricity output shoot up to 770 kilowatts. Interesting, no? You can also swap the turbine for another one at the flick of the switch to see what a Vesta V80 can do instead. Above all, it's global meetings that work really well in Second Life because we can talk in our normal voices to one another or use ordinary meeting facilities like PowerPoint slides. If I'm facilitating a session, you can see how easily I can change the slides. They're not fixed any more than in real life. And the quality of these slides is very good. You can see the detail fine on this big screen. Here's a meeting going on. And, oh, now. there's Peter um, chairing the meeting. If we get a two degree increase, then this is what it'll look like. I'll just change the slide. This is terrible. What will it look like in the West, in Europe? Well, Southern Spain is already um, it's had the longest drought uh, in recorded history. Peter, it's great that some people are getting so engaged, but I'm a bit worried. Can we step aside for a moment? OK, let's walk over here out of earshot and, and we can talk. The thing is, the people who are here from India and Ethiopia really important stories to share, but... Yeah, and they've not really spoken up yet. Exactly. I suppose I could provoke them with a tough question, maybe. Well, maybe that's going a bit far. Just give them a bit of space. On our other climate island, building work is underway. 
we're creating a conference centre for a summit we're holding in December, parallel to the UN's crucial climate summit in Bali. We're calling it the Virtual Bali. Imagine this arena filled with people, all from different countries, able to talk with the delegates and get our voices heard as global citizens. That's the power of One Climate Island.